and show you <clears throat> what we're going to make. Now this was not my idea. This was inspired by Pink Odd Bird, who is on YouTube. Um, she made these, she's called these a uh, corner hugger. And I um, adapted it slightly and I thought we would create these today. They just fit on the corner of your page. What I like about it, you can just move it throughout the journal. But I've made a little pocket on mine. And then when you flip it over, I've also made this tiny little notepad. Again, just little scraps that, you know, when I've cut down my papers. So this is another great use for tiny bits of scrap that we've got collected. Um, the other thing that you can do with this is that serves as a, um, a tuck spot as well on both sides. So it's just a, a fun, simple no stress kind of project. We love those. And again, this is um, my journals. This one I'm working on. They're about a four by six. So I've ended up making this about a six, uh, sorry, about three inches, this sheet of paper. So I think the one that we make together, I'm going to carry on with this size because I am creating um, some more of the envelope journals. So let's just get started. And if you're doing a larger journal, you could you can make these as big or you know any size that you want. But I I kind of like the small ones personally. I just think they look a little bit nicer. So this, as you can see, is just a scrap bit of paper I've got left over. Let me just get this white off here. Let's see, actually this one's going to end up slightly smaller. So, let me see how to do that. If I take that down to 5, so that's a 5 inch by 3 inch. So this will be a smaller one, but that's okay. I would just want to make use of the scraps. So you're just going to fold that in half. And I'm just going to use this to give you an example of, this won't go in this journal, but just so you can see. So what I'm going to do is just run a stitch across this top to hold it together. If you stitch along two sides, you can do it, but you risk uh, wherever that stitch line is, it might stick out slightly. But if you've got the room, that actually is going to look really pretty because it will serve as like a tab as well. So just bear that in mind. I personally am only going to stitch along here, so I'm going to do that quickly. Wow, I'm amazed that worked, because every time I say, oh, I'm just going to stitch this quickly, usually something happens, I run out of thread or something, and, and then I just end up, it takes forever. So as you can see, wherever you stitch, um, that's how high it's going to stick up or out. Um, but the other thing that you could do on this, and I've got one here, it doesn't really match this, but you could also make a tab. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. Let me get my tab punch. So, and we're going to just adapt this one again because here's some more scrap paper. And I'm just going to, because I think that's going to be really, really cute. To put that on there. And it might not necessarily work in this style journal because these all close. But I've got another one up here. We'll, we'll try and actually this will coordinate nice with that journal. And then you could put a little 
dangle on there if you want, but that I think that's really going to look nice. Okay, so all you're going to do at this point is just any kind of things you want to do to it. This one we're going to put a small notepad on the back. So let me just trim some of these down. going to take these and uh, stitch those together and then what I do is just glue them, glue the back sheet down and then that way that'll secure that. So you can put as many sheets as you want. Let me just stitch this quickly guys. So let me get my other journal. This is one I've just recently completed, and I will put this in. Because I think that's going to be very pretty, and it doesn't hang over too much. So that's just, just worked out really, really well. I didn't even plan that. Alright, so this side I'm going to glue this down, glue, glue, glue. So we had a very quiet Christmas. Um, the UK is in another lockdown, um, but we did manage. Our original plans got cancelled. Um, which was a little getaway for like two nights. That got canceled because of the lockdown. And then <clears throat> we kind of had a feeling with this government it was going to happen. So we booked for an Indian on Christmas Eve, which has kind of become Paul and I's little tradition here in the UK because we don't have any of our children to do anything with so we you know just to try to make it nicer we've started saying that's going to be our little tradition when we're here and so luckily we were able to manage to get that in thank goodness um, so that really you know made made Christmas tolerable uh, so yeah, <clears throat> okay, let's make a little pocket on this one. So I'm just going to take some coordinating paper and um, try to trim this down. Actually, that still may be a little bit deep. Mm, let me see here. Yeah, I should have measured it. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to... Let me start over here and measure. <laughs> I'm going to make that two by one and a quarter. I want this little bit of pink is what I'm... And I have to say, I've had a bit of a break. And I don't know about you guys, but when I get away from crafting... I really find it hard to get back into my routine, so I'm sorry if I'm messing around here because it does feel like it's not going that smooth. But it just is the way it happens for me. Oh, I don't know. I might back that on to some, another piece. Yeah, it's just um, sometimes it 
<clears throat> it's really difficult for me to get back into the groove here. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just layering these up. You don't have to do it, but I just want it to stand out a little bit more. But again, you don't have to to put a pocket on there, but I just thought it was kind of fun to have some extra writing space in a little pocket with this. And then you can also, she did, <coughs> you know, added some laces and, even you, you know, you can just embellish it as much or as little as you want. What have I done? Oh my gosh, guys, I really need to go back to bed. Okay. I've just glued the whole thing down. I don't know what I'm thinking today. Jeez. Too much um, sweets. It's all gone to my head. The sugar, I think. Okay, there we go. Hopefully I haven't completely glued the pocket shut. So yes, I must get um, get back in here, and uh, I've got several journals I've got piled up to um, to work on. So I'm sure by the time I've I finished those, I'll um, I'll kind of be back settled again because it just takes a while to get back into the groove. Okay, let me grab a little pad. Just got some things here. I was going to see if anything coordinated. Could just put that up. Yeah, I'll put that on there just to add something. These are just little labels from uh, chapter one. Okay, I'm just going to try to find a pretty little stamp here. This is a little primo stamp set I picked up a couple of years back and um, it's got these pretty little butterflies so I think that'll be quite a sweet one. They won't all fit on there but that's okay. So does you guys got any plans for New Year's? Um, I don't think, we, we don't normally do anything on New Year's Eve anyways, but I want some kind of word there. That's a little bit plain. Let me see if I can find something, guys. <coughs> Thank you. 
so yeah, I don't think we'll, um, well, there isn't anything we can do, but we don't generally do anything on New Year's Eve anyway, so it's, it's not that big a deal. Okay, I've got, um, just going to add another little thing to this pocket if I can. Just a couple little, I'll uh, trim that down a bit so that fits in there. Just a couple of, a tag and a little journal card that I'll stick in there. And then, let's see, anything else we want to do to this one? Let me see. Okay, so that's just three of the little butterflies punched out. And I'm just going to tie them together with the linen thread. And uh, we'll get that put on there just to add a little more decoration to the page. a little bit of cheesecloth. Okay, guys, so now, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that light's not on. I hope you guys can see okay. And then you've got the little notepad. And then in here, you could add a little bulb. Um, well, let's just do it. Let's go ahead and put another one in.
Okay. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but you can see that's pretty quick. I think that's going to be really pretty on the corner of the page. So, and then when you flip it over, again, you've got a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. And then you've also got this tiny little notepad. Do some extra writing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I appreciate so much that you stopped by today. And I'll be back very soon. I'll be back on my regular schedule, um, you know, creating some things with you. And uh, let's look forward to 2021. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.